So yesterday, Warner Brothers announced, or maybe they didn't announce, and it was just reported that they announced that there's going to be more Matrix shit. Yeah, it's either going to be a reboot slash retelling slash reimagining of the Matrix, and the internet imploded as soon as it was announced. I got on Twitter, I got on Facebook, and all I could see was flames on my phone. People were losing their freaking minds about this. Now that I've had about 24 hours to sit down and think about this, I'm ready to talk about this in more detail, but my initial reaction was not the best. God fucking damn it! Ah! 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 No, God! No, God, please, no, 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 no. But now that I've calmed myself, I've meditated, I have marinated with lemon pepper on my nipples, I'm ready to talk about what this might mean going forward for Warner Brothers. Yeah, sorry, whenever I think of the word marinated, I think of chicken. Sue me. Okay, so the report is kind of speculative. I mean, it lists it as a reboot. Most of the places, most of the news outlets that are talking about this are listing it as a reboot, but we don't actually know if it is a reboot. There's a report that they might want to look at a new director, that they might want to go in a different direction. Zach Penn, a guy who wrote X-Men First Class and The Incredible Hulk and The Avengers, is a guy that they're looking at to write up a treatment, whatever the fuck that means. Okay, so nobody actually knows what this is. There's also rumors that Michael B. Jordan might be looked at as part of the cast or as the new Neo or something something like that. Let me address the reboot part of this first. Hell no. I am a huge Matrix fan, all right? I love the first movie. The Matrix is one of my favorite movies ever. I even really liked Matrix Reloaded. I thought it was a really good sequel, even though it clearly wasn't as good as the first Matrix movie. Matrix Revolutions, I... 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 I don't really know what happened there. But still, The Matrix and The Matrix Trilogy is still one of my favorite things ever. I love The Matrix. I love that world. I also watched the Animatrix. I also read some of The Matrix comics. I played the video games growing up, Enter The Matrix, Matrix Online. So seriously, I am a huge Matrix fan. I love that world. I love those characters. Even today, after having calmed down from my initial reaction, I'm still telling Warner Brothers, just like I'm telling all of you, no. Warner Brothers, look at me right now. I, I'm, I, yeah, I'm acting like I'm talking to my subscribers or my viewers, but I'm really talking to Warner Brothers right now when I'm looking at this camera. Warner Brothers, no. 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 Don't do it. Don't do it. You can't reboot the Matrix. If you're going to retell the story of the Matrix or if you're going to do something else with the Matrix, you have to bring back the original cast and crew. You can't cast somebody else to be Neo. I mean, Keanu Reeves is Neo. That's the thing that basically everyone associates with him. Well, that and John Wick now, but still. You can't cast Michael B. Jordan as Neo. You can't cast Michael B. Jordan as the one. Because then the one would be two, and that doesn't make any sense. You can't have two ones. Yeah, see? Think about that shit. It's just basic math, people. Moving beyond the whole reboot side of the story, though, I am really interested to see what they do with this. They could go the Matrix 4 that was supposedly in development. They could go that route. They could just bring back the original cast and crew. They could retell a new story. They could have a new antagonist that's not Agent Smith. You would think that the machines would continue to evolve and progress, and they would come up with new plans and new ways of controlling the humans, and they could just continue that story. Keanu Reeves even said last month when he was working on John Wick 2 that he would be open to coming back to the Matrix, but he did have some stipulations. He said that the Wachowskis would have to write and direct it, but he said outside of that he would really be interested in doing it. The report really didn't say anything about the Wachowskis. I mean, it's speculated, but really no one knows if the Wachowskis would be on board to come back or not. And honestly, let's be honest, any future Matrix movie would feel weird without the Wachowskis being involved in some way, shape, or form, so I'm hoping that the Wachowskis are going to be there. But even even if you don't do that, even if you don't do Matrix 4, do some spin-offs, do some other interesting stories. I mean, you could tell the story from like the game, remember Into the Matrix? You could have a story focusing on Nairobi and Ghost and, you know, other people in that story. Or you could focus on the kid. Does anybody remember Kid from the Matrix Reloaded and from the Animatrix that, you know, the guy that idolized Neo and worshipped him, slobbed his knob and that whole thing? Yeah, and then after Neo was gone, he formed a group or something, like he formed this group, I can't remember the name off the top of my head, it's, it's based off of some kind of old Latin word or something. Something. But basically, he formed a group to honor Neo's memory and to continue on in Neo's stead. So I feel like, yeah, they could do that. They could focus on a story with Kid and a group. But let's be honest, we all really want to see Morpheus, Neo, and Trinity come back. Although, in the case of this individual, Neo, let's let's bring Monica Bellucci back instead of <laughs> Trinity. Let, let's bring Monica Bellucci back in. Sorry, Neo, I love you, but you, you should have gone with Monica. I'm, I'm just sorry. No disrespect to Carrie Ann Moss, but... 
Monica. Monica Bellucci is where it's at. So either way, I don't think we're going to see anything related to this project for a long time. It sounds like Warner Brothers is still trying to figure out what they're trying to do. Still a lot of details that need to be ironed out. They're still casting. There's still a whole bunch of other stuff. You can't take a film that reshaped cinema the way that The Matrix did and then just reboot it. But in terms of continuing the story or having spinoffs or having other different stories inside the world of The Matrix, yeah, sure. I'm excited. I'm a little bit optimistic, but I'm also a little cautious and I'm a little bit worried and I don't really know what to think about this even 24 hours after hearing the news so guys what do you think about this news that the matrix is going to be back on the big screen one day what do you want to see and what do you don't want to see let me know in the comment section down below and as always if you like what you see tell me how you feel and stay tuned to hear more from the man of steel peace